video number two publishing on the channel today. This video is a basically a, a response to a commenter three days ago who wanted me to go into a little more detail on the lifting that I do in the gym. And when I say lifting, it's a little bit in air quotes right now. So what I like to do, just putting it out there right up front, I like to keep my lifting a little bit uh, lighter and a little more dynamic and really focused on explosion early on in the training block. So the, the marathon is in May. I will begin to introduce heavier lifting in a, basically like next week and 10 days from now. Uh, so after this race that I'm doing on Saturday. And I do that again because I don't want to bulk up too much. Uh, look, at, look at Ryan Hall. You all know Ryan Hall, the Olympian uh, in the marathon, stud runner, incredible runner. Well, he kind of, he stopped running and he, he had had enough. He retired and basically he's now a power lifter and he's like this massive dude, like Google him now. He's like, boom, he's, he's ripped now. But he, I heard an interview with him recently and he basically said like, it's really difficult for him to run now because he's so, he's put on like 40 pounds of muscle. It's insane. So as runners, we don't want to be big and bulky, but we do still want to be strong. It's Running is all about walking the line. Remember we talked about tapering yesterday, like being fit and fresh. Well, with lifting, I believe it's it's walking that line between being uh, strong, but not too strong. Uh, did, does that make sense? So um, so today, I'm going to walk you through some lower leg exercises. I'm going to say exercises. I'm not even going to say lifting. And I'm doing these exercises in the gym uh, in order to get ready for the lifting. I will do uh, I will do squats uh, in the month of March and April, getting ready for the marathon. I'll probably dabble in a little bit of deadlifting, and I'll do some bench pressing and some overall strengthening, but that's not what I'm going to cover today. And one more point before diving in, I almost forgot, I'm a big fan of single leg isolation. I think we can, like, I, my right leg is so much stronger and more, uh, it has better uh, coordination than my left leg, and my left foot is a little, it's, you know, that's where I had plantar fasciitis last year. It's a little weak. So I'm a really big fan of isolating both legs. And oh, this is a topic for another day. But that whole like, if you could like 50 50, if you could just get five to 10% more power and uh, energy return out of your weak leg, you know, we all have a, a dominant leg. For me, it's my right side. Oh, imagine five to 10% more from one leg. That would, it's just amazing. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. So a lot of these exercises that I'm gonna do are single leg exercises. So I, I always like to start with uh, the treadmill just to warm up the muscles. So I'll hop on the treadmill, get movement, moving. I like to go in different directions just to fire different muscle groups. Then I'll hop over to the mat and start rolling out stretching, uh, doing ankle rotations, just to make sure, like ankles, for runners, the ankle is so important, not only for strength, but just to make sure we keep it healthy because of the Achilles tendon, which maybe some of you have had issues with in the past. Okay, so after the warm up, again, treadmill, rolling out, stretching, and we'll go into more detail on foam rolling at some point, but that's not for today. And then the ankle rotations. We start with single leg deadlifts and you're seeing it on your screen right now. I, on four, I use a 10 pound weight. I would like to work up to a 20 pound weight uh, later in the uh, training block. And ideally you are doing this with a kettlebell, but my gym doesn't have kettlebells. So I just use uh, a 10 pound weight. And you see me just going down there and then back up. And again, my form, like my leg that is, is stuck straight out in the back, that should be straighter. So again, I'm working on uh, getting better myself as I'm watching these videos. I like to do three sets of 12, but don't do that at first. You wanna ease into it. I'd recommend two sets of eight the first time you ever do this. Just get your muscles ready to get ready. And the next exercise is a single leg lift on the ball. Okay, three, again, three sets of 12 each leg. This lift, so as runners, we often have very strong quads a lot of times. 
sometimes we can neglect our hamstrings. So this lift is going to work a lot of different muscles, but it's, you're going to really feel it in your hamstrings. So make sure your hamstrings are nice and warmed up before doing this. Oh, it burns so bad. You see, you put your foot on top of the ball and then you basically stick your other leg straight up in the air and then you pull that ball toward you with your with the leg that is uh, doing the actual exercise. And again, this is not only working your legs, but your core as well. Very difficult, very tiring. And then I call this one the rock climber. Three sets by 30 seconds, just on the ground, kind of in the uh, push-up position. And again, my back, I wish my back was a little more flat, but you're just you're just pumping your, your legs as quick as possible on the ground, making sure, this is key, making sure your knee is not going out to the side, that you're driving your knee straight forward. And it's all about working that form to make sure when you're running, you're not losing any energy by letting your knee drift to the side. It's very tempting to let that happen when you get tired. And so again, knee drive straight forward on the ground. I call this the rock climber. And good old box jumps, three sets of 10, and again, ease into it, but jump up onto a box, start with a low box. This one is about, it looks like to be about 24 inches. I would like to get up to maybe like 28 inches at some point. I gotta work on my vertical. One reason I, I really do this is for climbing hills. If you're doing, if you're a trail runner, I think this actually, like if you can work up to it, now listen, it's not easy. And especially as you get a little older, you gotta watch your knees, make sure you're not beating up your knees too much, but the more you do it, the stronger your legs will become, the stronger the muscles around your knee and the tendons and the ligaments will become, they'll become more supple. And uh, I think this, uh, I was not really doing this exercise too much last year. Uh, definitely not two years ago when I was uh, racing the Pikes Peak Ascent. So anyway, I'm excited for these box jumps, three sets of 10, just to help with that explosive uh, nature of running. Like it's so important to have a nice uh, responsiveness when you need to, to kick at the last, you know, 300 meters of a mile race on the track. You want to be explosive. All right, three sets of 10 on that. And the next one, high knees on the box, three sets of 20 seconds, three sets of 20 seconds, just boom, boom. This one, you're going to get a burn. You're definitely working on that knee drive again, that straight up and down knee drive. But you know what you're working on almost even more? is hand-eye coordination. It's a, it's a little more difficult than it looks. Like, you have to really concentrate to make sure you don't, you know, hit your foot on that box when you're bringing it up and down, up and down. And again, I think it's really important to have good hand-eye coordination as runners. Even though we're not soccer players, basketball players, uh, the more nimble we are and the more confident we are in firing our, our, our muscle groups, uh, anyway, I just think it all can help with getting us down the track, down the road, over the course as quick as possible if we're feeling confident in our footing and how we are moving fluidly through our running gait. Okay, so those were high knees, three on the box, three sets by 20, 20 seconds. And the key word is strength. We're not quite done. Three more. It all has to do with this it's it's spelled B O S U. I'm going to say Bosu. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it. Love this thing. If your gym doesn't have one, um, make them buy one because this thing is absolutely uh, it's a, it's firing when you step up on it. You're just just standing there. You're firing all these little teeny tiny muscles, ligaments, tendons that you don't usually fire in your running group, in your running stride, uh, because you have to balance when you're doing all of these exercises. Make sure you uh, feel confident getting on it that you don't want to fall off. You might have to hold on to a wall. That's fine. And so for these last three exercises, you're going to do the single leg lunge two sets of 12 that's that for me that's plenty for the single leg squats you're going to do two sets of 12 and then for the normal squat where both feet are up on the bosu balance board you're going to do three sets of 12 okay so again single leg squat two sets of 12 and you see it on the screen there single leg lunge two sets of 12 both legs and then lastly, uh, three sets of 12, again, for that normal squat where both legs are on the BOSU balance board. And there you have it. Those are the lifts, uh, lifts, exercises, jumps, explosions that I like to do early in the training block. And the question of the day, have you ever done single leg lifting? Or are you interested in learning more about single leg lifting and isolating your left 
isolating your right. Um, and if you if you learn something today, let me know. Uh, and again, I am not a lifting coach. This is all drawn from experience at the University of Colorado, my even lifting in high school, and then really just teaching myself some different movements uh, since college. Like all of these, some of these I have created. I really literally have created. Some of them I've been taught by a personal trainer. And uh, anyway, so just putting that out there, I am not a full on lifting coach, but I'm happy to share as much insight as possible with all of you when it comes to what I like to do in the gym for making sure I'm ready to get ready. All right. All right. Thank you for being here. This is video number two. By the way, by the time this publishes, we are like, we are almost at 10,000. It's so exciting. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want more of these types of videos. And listen, this is my first attempt at a lifting video. We can only go up from here. Like, I need to figure out how to better film these as well. See, beauty, work hard, love each other. Woo! See you.